Hello friends, my name is Sandeep and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to copy one NXOS image from one switch to another switch which both the devices will be the Nexus switches. So today we have the switch one, here we have as the 3048 are the switches. So this is the 3048 switch and then our switch one is also 3048 so there is a no requirement that the both the devices will be the same version or same uh, model any NXOS devices you can use this method so today I will show you what are the files that is available in our boot flash so uh, we have that uh, kickstart image of view 6 3a and in our switch 2 we have we don't have that uh, u6 dot file which is of u6 dot 3a here we have u6 dot 1a u6 dot 3a is not available so i will show you how to copy that file from one switch one switch one to switch two for that purpose i am going to use the so nxos feature of scp server so first uh, check that feature is enabled or not to check that show feature command is show feature feature pipe include scp so feature is disabled so i am going to enable the same the command to enable the same is feature scp server similarly we will do on secondary switch first we will check yeah the feature is disabled yeah the feature is being enabled let's check yeah it's enabled on switch 2 let's check on switch 1 yes here is also it's enabled so uh, we will start copying the file from switch 1 to switch 2 so for that purpose we will go to switch 1 and uh, we will check uh, yeah this is the kickstart image of 37 mbob it will take less time to copy so we will select the file so command is to copy the file is copy and source will be your device which is of switch 1 so file is located at our boot flash so boot flash I am going to de add destination which is SCP server and then uh, we will going to add VRF so as both the devices are connected through management interface and in NXOS management interfaces are, are member of VRF management so I am going to add VR, VRF as a management enter I need to uh, put the source file name to add the same and I need to add the host name for the SCP server so SCP server will be the switch to IP so switch to IP will be yeah this is a switch to IP I'm going to add the same over here so I am easy asking username as a default username is added Now it is started copying. It's quite taking 89%. So you can also see here the file is now copied to our secondary switch, which is of U6.3A, which is of 37.85 MB. Let's check. Here is now 72 days and the copy is being completed. So in this way we can copy the file from one Swift device to another device. So so that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.